assalamu alaikum viewers thank you very much that you people are viewing my videos and you are giving a very good comments and number of the subscribers are increasing every other day i am really very grateful to my dear colleagues to my friends to my students thanks a lot once again and uh, whenever i see that after every other day the viewership is increasing it really means a lot to me and without your cooperation i can do anything thanks one once again today the topic we are going to discuss that is a very you know, common topic of the world of today and today we will be discussing research you must have heard about the research that the finding of the new research tells us this 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 result for example the common thing is according to the researches it is true that whenever someone will smoke it will leads towards the lungs cancer and whenever we look at the current situation how corona spread according to the finding of the research whenever those people who are the already suffering from corona they are in contact or they are touching the hand or they are passing the direct air and that is just like the viral infection this is also finding of the research but first of all we will see and what actually research is research is tentative solution to the problem whenever there are the number of the problems in our environment in our surroundings all the scientists they will be start working in the labs and they will be keep on going with the various experiments to find the solution of the particular problem which the world is facing which the world is in encountering we can say that the biologist will be conducting the research related to the biology physiologist will be conducting the research related to the physiology and physicist would be conducting the research related to the physics experiments and the later latest inventions whereas the business person would be conducting the market research how he can sell his product how he can market his product and uh, a faculty member or a counselor they will be conducting the research how they can improve and the modify behavior of the people in their surrounding how we can change the thought process so every other person who belongs to any field of life who belongs to any walk of life they would be indulged in conducting several researches because research is cannot be completed when we have find one thing we cannot say that the finding of the one research that would be the absolute that will be the last or the final version of the um, uh, researchers rather it keeps it get open for the further researches and that is the reason we are getting the solution of the problems and doctors are conducting the researches and on basis of the researches they are able to make the treatment of the people and they are able to cure the people and the patients so we must have heard about that previous finding was rejected and according to the previous finding now they have rejected it and with the latest equipment and the with the latest thing they have got an other solution of the particular problem and the particular disease so hundreds and the thousands of the researches have been conducted from the primitive time to the latest era and every other day there would be the new finding of the research and the latest result of the research this is why all the psychologists all the experimenters they spend most of their time in conducting the researches we can take the example of it whenever this corona outbreak throughout the world all the researchers all the biologists all the doctors they went to their labs they went to their experimental lab and they started working how it spread how it starts what is the virus how it can be controlled how it can be manipulated and uh, what could be the conditions through which we can get the treatment what would be the appropriate medicine for it so this was all got after the researches that it is a uh, infection it's the viral infection and this is the lungs disease this is known as the terminal disease so we got it that after washing the hand we need 
if we take the precautionary measures after washing the hands we can um, get the better cure from it we need to wear the mask that was also finding of the research and um, the specific medicines which were invented with the composition of the various medications that was also the result on the finding of the research so one point is clear that what research is research is the tentative solution of the particular problem when people are encountering some problem they would be going to find the answer through that research but the person who is conducting the research who who we would be the person who is conducting the research he is known as the experimenter and experimenter would be conducting the research either on the um, various things for example um, and the various objects are the various people there would be number of the participants in it and those people on whom the research is being conducted they are known as the participants and they are known as the subjects as well on whom the research is being conduct conducted first of all they need to select a topic on which topic they would be conducting the research that is known as the selection for the topic of conducting the research if whenever this thing is decided then they would be able to make the questionnaire and generate the hypothesis but the hypothesis is hypothesis is the tentative solution to the problem hypothesis is just like a statement the all the researchers want to know the answer of that hypothesis and that re, uh, that question hypothesis are basically it would be just like a statement in which two compare two variables would be there and they it, it would be made a comparison for example if we want to conduct a research on the students girls are better performers as compared to the boys this could be the hypothesis so if we want to know the answer we will apply this question on the rest of the population and we would be taking the sample as the students this would be the full one hypothesis but we require more than one hypothesis related to the topic and if the hypothesis are generated then each of the hypothesis would be tested on all the selected population and the selected sample for example the hypothesis of the um, the formula for the hypothesis is if a then b if a will occur then b will definitely occur and i would be the iv independent variable because no research can move ahead without the variables there would be several variables within the research and all the experimenters they would be conducting the research on the Uh, conducting the research by checking the effect of the variables on the dependent variables first i would like to explain you what the variables are Vari variable is the condition of the several objects in which if change is occurring in independent variable then change will also occur in the dependent variable and there are several types of the variables one is the independent variable and the second one is the dependent variable then there is the confounding variable then there is the extraneous variable so all the experimenters and the experimenters would be checking the and controlling they would be checking and controlling what would be impact of independent variable on the dependent variable and it will be measuring the relationship of cause and effect if there is a cause there is an effect how we will check it the relationship of the cause and effect for example if there is the dengue fever how it is proved that with the sting of the mosquito specific mosquito it would leads towards the dengue fever and um, the mosquitoes sting would be investigated within the within the laboratory environment and there is a cause if there is a sting of the mosquito the people will suffer from dengue fever this was the cause and the effect was dengue fever if there is a smoking that is the cause effect is like people would suffer from lung cancer the effect and cause relationship is also being measured in it and extraneous variable 
Extraneous variables are those variables while the experimenter is conducting the research. He would be interfered by the various other variables other than the independent variable and the dependent variable. And the research finding would be interrupted by the external environment stimulus. For example, if people are there within the laboratory environment and they are giving the answers to the experimenter, in the meantime, there is a big noise, there is the load shedding, there is the power failure, then we can say that those extraneous variables can have adverse impact on the research. And confounding variables are just like the extraneous variables. If extraneous variables are having adverse impact on the finding of the research, then the result of the research may change. Sometimes it happens that there occurs some serendipity. What is the serendipity? Serendipity is the accidental discovery. Researcher is experimenting on something according to the research design and according to his own design, but he will be conducting he because experimenter's role and duty is to control the impact of the independent variable on the dependent variable. But in the meantime, while the experimenter is doing all this work, immediately there will be a accidental discovery which is known as serendipity and that serendipity could be a major invention in the um, discipline of the physics or in the discipline of the medical sciences. If we have a look at the penicillin, penicillin was the invention by the Louis Pasteur, uh, but it was the serendipity, it was the accidental discovery. So these are the things which are very important within the research. But when we look at the hypothesis, hypothesis are the most important thing. It's the import, most important element while the experimenters are conducting the research and there are the various types of the hypothesis. One would be the simple hypothesis. Then there would be the null hypothesis. Null hypothesis is that the hypothesis which is being nullified. And whenever the hypothesis is rejected, then an other hypothesis, which is known as the alternative hypothesis, that al alternative hypothesis will be accepted. And th that is known as the alternative hypothesis. We need to check the relationship, correlation between the two levels of the ID. If the correlation is proved by the experiment, then we can say that the finding of the research is correct. But if the hypothesis is rejected, we can say that the hypothesis is rejected. That's why the finding of the research is not that successful. So they will be conducting an other research. They would be conducting an other experiment to find the result and to find the solution of the particular problem. This was up to the uh, hypothesis. But who would be the sample? on whom the research would be conducted. Sample is a group of the people and those are the representative rest of the population. For example, if we need to get the students, we want to conduct the research on the students, we would be collecting the students from the several educational institutions. And those educational institutions selected students would be known as the representative samples because they would be representing the rest of the institutions. For example, if we want to check that either students are happy with the CIE's result, we would be taking 10 students from the Froebel, 10 students from Beacon House, 10 students from um, LGS, 10 students from military com campuses, 10 students from city school, 10 students from uh, Lakas and uh, Shoifal. So, and each, uh, those 10 students whom we are selecting from the each of the institutions, they would be selected and taken as the representative of the whole population. Whole population means that they are representing the whole of their institution. And if we want to conduct a simple survey, for example, the people are badly affected with the price hiking and we want to check that how many of the people are uh, great adversely 
affected with the price hiking, we would be conducting the research or the survey by taking the sample from each of the area. How it, it would be done on the quota basis and uh, regional basis, like 10 good people would be taken from the 10 Downing Street, 10 would be taken from the Marina 